Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another segment of the Bickering Gamers. Hello. Hello. How's everyone doing? I'm pretty good. I feel pretty chill today. Uh, I'm fine. Yeah. All right. Well, I wonder why. We're talking about Animal Crossing. Oh, yeah, it's a good point. Uh, yeah. You're right. You're right. Nice and relaxed. So the most laid-back game <laughs> that really is the most <laughs> that Nintendo has ever peddled out. I think out. that's the most laid-back game, period. Because even simulator games don't get that laid-back. Not even Sims. Yeah. Well, I want to. I don't know. It's it's hard. It is a simulation game, but it is, it does very take a very different step towards a lot of other styles where it's not real time. Which I never like simulation games that are real time. So that's. Oh, there was one point one of the Animal Crossing was real time. No, yeah. no, no, you have to understand. I don't mean real time as in it follows the time. It is real time in that regard. I'm talking real time as in the character just picks up where exactly where you left off. It'll always. The character doesn't age, the character doesn't sleep, the character doesn't need to eat, although it can eat certain things, that kind of real time with the character. The game does follow an internal clock setting, where if it's nighttime, it'll be nighttime, and daytime, it'll be daytime. All Animal Crossings do this. It was originally made for the N64, uh, I forgot the original name for it, I think it was Animal Park? It was Animal Forest. Forest, yeah. And it was going to be made for the Nintendo 64 disc drive. So, but, you know, we all know what happened there. But I, I like how... There's, there's an interesting bit of trivia about that. Oh, Did you know that you can... Gaming? Yeah. Did you know that um, you can play Animal Crossing without the need of the... Without the disc being in the... In the yeah. uh, in the GameCube? Yeah, because it's such a small... Because uh, it was already made for the Nintendo 64 disc drive, which was a downloadable disc system. Like, uh... How the, the fam- no with an N sixty four cartridge to begin with yeah but um it needed it, it needed the they ROM. brought yeah they brought production that, yeah. into because uh, it's sixty four disk drive what it can do is it can hold ROMs it can hold whole ROMs you don't need uh you just need to put in the disk once and then you're done yeah like that's how it worked with the Famicom too they had a disk system but it was floppy disks you, you you went to your the Japanese kids went to their video store downloaded it at a rental place and they, they would either buy a new game to cover up the one that was on there before or they just uh, keep the game on that disc for, forever but uh, and Nintendo pretty much was emulating that with, with actual CDs though it didn't work out though um, it didn't catch on because it, tr- it was very tricky business going from cartridges to discs because it was just a big step a lot of people didn't like loading times that was a huge complaint memory oh, cards yeah. were People found memory cards very annoying. What do you expect? They weren't very fun in the first place. Yeah, but there is a lot more advantages to CDs, which is why ultimately they made the, t- the, the, the twist, because it has better sound. You can get better sound fonts out of it. You can get better color out of it, because the processor is, is uh, reading it digitally rather than having to re- uh, do it in, on an analog setting or whatnot. And, yeah, you, you can just pull off a lot more at that. You have a... Uh, so, Animal Crossing ended up taking full advantage of what the GameCube could do because the GameCube was the first one of the first consoles to have an internal clock. It can tell the time, and they use that in the games, and a lot of games did that, which was very clever. But Animal Crossing was the most clever with it. I remember actually following this game through um, Nintendo Power. Nintendo Power took this game very seriously, probably because it was Nintendo's first simulation. Yeah, I mean, in fo- no, it's not. Oh yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, but did, it, it was. Did you forget game. about Harvest Moon? Oh yeah. Well, I consider that more. Harvest Moon. Oh yeah, I remember those. Mm. Harvest Moon was Farmville before Farmville yeah, came I, out. Yeah, I wouldn't really consider that a simulation game. Except that. you can do more than just farm. Yeah. You can. All right, great. You can uh, talk to town people, get married, yeah. Yeah. Yada yada yada. I'm all, and I'm only saying this so that the Harvest Moon fans don't come and kill me. Basically. Uh, well, <laughs> well, they're gonna kill me right now. Harvest Moon fans are pretty. Why? Chill. I thought Harvest yeah, Moon was. Yeah, there's gonna be a bunch of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you, oh man. You go to hell, man. <laughs> you, no, you're going to internet hell, which is the same idea, except you're in a forum blog. And you gotta be 18 and older. And you gotta be 18 and older than Joe. All the kids. <laughs> that's great. So let's see, internet hell. That's a thing yeah. now. Yeah, I mean, you gotta be you gotta be 18 or older. Yet you know what? half the people in there are you know like 10. Those are, yeah. You know what? <laughs> no, those those yeah. are, You know what? Those annoying commentators that just go on videos they don't like to complain about them. Oh, they, yeah. That's their personal hell. They're always in that comment like section. Like that one guy. It's always about them. Yeah, like that one guy yeah. from the game. Grum- no, when the when the game grows. I know what you're talking about. When uh, 
no, when guys. Dan replaced John, yeah. there was just one guy that was guy like, kept saying, bring John back or I'm gonna unsubscribe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, because I legitimately thought the title was Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's like one of the, one of that'd the, be a good crossover. Yeah, that's a, that's a, yeah, that would be actually. That's a good hell, idea of hell, though. Being in an infinite comment war. Oh god. Oh, boy. <laughs> that, would, that would be a game. On the guy, on the other, and the other person's grammar just gets terrible <laughs> with each post. <laughs> each post, the grammar gets worse until you have to decipher. Yeah. Every post. You got to use a translator. So the guy who's been there for like twenty then, years then, now. No, then. It, Goes down to binary. Yeah, it goes down <laughs> to binary. It goes into code. Yeah. Start oh, using right. Morse code in a dead la or dead language. Gaelic. 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 <laughs> and all of a sudden, you have that old man that's like. <laughs> and every time you, th every time, <laughs> every time you think you won the comment war, you didn't. So, uh, no, the only way to win is up. not to play the game. Yeah. All right. You don't win. You just do a little better mm. every time. Right. Speaking so, of which, uh, Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing, yes. Yeah, you, you don't know, No, win. I have one once. Yeah. I have one one once. You can- The guy apologized at the end. You can- oh, nice. You can win, quote unquote, Animal Crossing, but it, it's a game that can go on forever. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm sure there- I'm sure it's somewhere out there out of the honestly, 7 to 8 billion people in the world. Someone's still playing the original Animal Crossing from the original file. I probably- That's some I haven't gone. Though. I haven't gone on there in so long. I'm pretty sure. I don't want to go Every back. piece of. I, I don't want to go back. Every, like, top. I, I don't know if it's like a tile system or anything, but every. Oh, my whole world right. is covered in weeds. Yeah, I know. That mine too. You know what? That was dead. You know what I like, though, that New Leaf did? New Leaf did a lot of amazing um, improvements to the series. One thing I liked is if you um, go back at a much later date than we did last time, it won't really punish you like they used to do. Because I used to hate skipping a day in the original Animal Crossing because they always yell at you. It's like, dude, where the hell have you been? It's like, they actually did that? Yeah, like, let's You're say fine. I missed one day or two. No, you got... That, they don't do that unless you've been gone for like months. No, no, they did. No, I remember. No, maybe in City Folk, but in the original Animal Crossing, if you missed a day or two, it's not that they're mad at you. It's just every time you talk to a villager, they have to say where were you yesterday or something like that. And it's so annoying because it's like, I just want to talk to you because I need to do a favor. Of course, there is some things in New Leaf I didn't like. Like I don't like. I don't know if Wild World did this because I never played Wild World, but I don't like how talking to someone. Is the same thing as favors. I liked it better when favors and talking to someone were two different things. Because if I wanted to talk to someone with increased chemistry, I don't want to do a favor, or I'm not prepared to do a favor, and then it just springs up on me very randomly. Yeah. And, it's, and I had to say no. If I'm more prepared to do a favor, then I'll do a favor. But the point of Animal Crossing is to pay off the house debt and just to interact with the animals you get. You had a lot of interesting multiplayer features. I remember it <laughs> Cool use out of the uh, um. Come on, man. Memory card. Oh, come on. I had this one guess Slots. while we were trying to get it out. At the very least, turn away. Yeah, you, know, you could have done that. <laughs> you know, you could have done that before the video. I didn't like have I did. a guess moment until now. I was Sound nice like enough to do that before the video. I didn't have a guess moment until now. It was crazy. We are the most professional <laughs> people <laughs> on the yeah. interweb. Don't forget it. Um. See, so yeah, it actually had some cool ideas. Um, multi uh, multiplayer, like you can have more than one villager on the same town, which is interesting and all. What I really oh, like, so yeah. So you're sorry. just gonna keep it's on worse. burping, man. Oh, what else is new? Well, the first one was a green iced tea. Oh yeah, that that was in okay. Arizona. And I broke that loud from that. Imagine the seltzer. Shut up, Tyler. Oh jeez. Go ahead. Oh, the geez. viewers are like. Lowering the yeah, volume. Lowering the volume. No, they're like Lower leaving. The no, they're lower the volume. <laughs> turn off the. No, they're like turn, leaving the video. The video <laughs> leaving stop the video. Going turn to off watch you something else. Yeah, go to the computer 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 window. <laughs> then, then, then cover themselves with gasoline, burn themselves on fire. And okay, that, that's then gone a bit too far. Somehow away from the burp from the computer. Seriously, that goes a bit too far. Yeah, you're right. It takes away, blows the flames out. Yeah. Oh, okay, so anyway, um, so oh, look, okay. what I liked about, uh, what was really cool is how they, uh, on the GameCube anyway, was how they handled multiplayer. I really liked it, because what you did was, you had, oh, look, you had two memory cards, 
with uh, two different towns, you can. Tr that's how you travel to different villages. Yeah, um, you you go to the slot A village, and that's the one that boot up. And if you take the train, it'll take you to the slot B village. I did that a lot. And if you do that, the chances are you're uh, you can pop up. Uh, you you get the possibility of swapping neighbors, which used to piss me off because I used to have my friend. He always got my cool neighbors. And I always got his shitty neighbors. <laughs> No, I did. He always, had, I was, he always had the shittiest of neighbors, and he always got my cool neighbors. I had some cool, I had some cool favorite people. There's some, a lot of them were like old people. Like they acted like that anyway. They're AI, but I like them. They're all cool cats. Uh, Biscuit was, I it was it? Biscuit, Rolf, and uh, hen, uh, there was a penguin and a root and a hen. Those are the guys I remembered the most from the original. And city folk, I don't know. I don't remember a lot. Biscuit of sounds like a horse. Biscuit's a dog. Yeah, that makes sense. Dog biscuit. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's this cool cat orange <coughs> hybrid thing. That, was, that that person was cool. You're burping again. Not, there's there's a lot of memorable yeah. characters. You remember like that's what I like about Animal Crossing. Like everyone who runs shops, they all have they're, they're, like the thing is they don't just throw them in there to have one purpose. These guys have back. All the characters in the game have backstories. They have a life. They and there's live. like over seven hundred of yeah of them, and it's, they all they all have an equal uh, randomized right. selection. Make it virtually impossible to do two different games with the same yeah. uh, group of peop group of uh, neighbors. Yeah, that's cool. Which I thought was very no, a very smart, very no, there cool is decision. A it's very low though. But it's like literally one. Eight. Yeah, virtually impossible. It's like one trillion to the ninetieth power. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's fun. Like, uh, City Folk, I thought was a lot of fun. I thought that was a cool step, having all the towns and more convenient places. And then <coughs> New Leaf did the best. New Leaf has a new Main Street feature where all your shops aren't crowding up your town anymore. But for some reason, I don't know why, they, they give you a 10 neighbor limit in your village when it used to be 15. I don't know why, especially since they uh, put the museum, Tom Nook, uh, the Able Sisters, etc., etc., <coughs> in Main Street. The only thing that's not there is your town hall and your, and your, uh, and your tree. That's, yeah, you, that's that makes, the only thing. Yeah, but that, uh, I don't understand why there had to be a 10 night limit, but you know, whatever. The, 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 the series is, is, is evolving very well, and uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. Every time I pick up a new Animal Crossing, you get the, that extreme, extreme guilt when you're done, yeah, and, you, and uh, you just haven't gone back. Honestly, I never really felt that, mu that much know. about uh, Animal Crossing, but honestly, when I started playing, playing it, I liked it. I played... I played it almost every day, yeah, the yeah, original yeah. one. I tried to. The one thing I... But I thought it was just going to be like a one-off thing. I didn't think it was oh, going to no be no. anything like this big. I mean, I didn't think it would be big enough to the point where no, the yeah, villager becomes a playable character in Smash yeah, Brothers. Yeah, I, I agree. I know. That I, surprised I the shit out of me. I don't think it was going to be, well, but it is you Nintendo. notice the rising popularity, especially with the younger generation. You know what it is? That was also yeah, the I, age where The Sims the thing is, the I'm not a big, popularity. I'm not a big fan of simly, simulation games. Neither am I, but for some reason I'm a big fan of Animal Crossing. I'm not a big fan of simulators either, but for some reason I'm a big fan of Animal Crossing. I mean, things like roller coaster, games like Roller Coaster Tycoon and SimCity, yeah, I'll play those. Yeah, you're gonna. Yeah, you're gonna it's nice to, to do it's nice to do with micromanagement. I, I like that. Yeah. I forgot what Sims game, but I recently learned that by the end of it, before the next game came out, the total that game went for, with all the downloads and everything, was over four hundred dollars. Wow. Jesus wow. Christ. That includes all the college stuff, the university stuff, like the downloads for like the extras. Yeah, the, that's crazy. the extra content. Now, like that's, I said, that's amazing. Yeah, wow. like well, I had such fun there for a second there. Good for you. Well, it's like I like I said. <laughs> um, there is a technical end to Animal Crossing, oh, arguably. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just. It takes you forever to get yeah, there. Yeah, it's like arguably, if you get all, pretty much all, or most of the achievements done, uh, you get all the gold uh, uh, equipment. Uh, yeah, you get, you all get the uh, silver equipment. You, you beautify you like your town the... to its peak. You you keep your villagers happy. I, I could never do that. It's, no matter it, how many flowers I planted, no matter how many. Because that were the cut down, it, it's very specific. Cut down and plant. Yeah, the first one it was very specific. I get nothing but negative review. Yeah, the the, the first one it was very specific and weird. It wasn't, but uh, in the, uh, in newer had to put them in certain places. No, in newer installments, it's a lot easier to understand. It's a lot simpler because I don't know, maybe because of the complexity of, of uh, the programming or whatnot. It's a lot. It was really difficult the first one. 
Uh, and I heard, I don't know if this is true, but I heard in the first one, if you do get everything to to its peak of perfection, they build a statue in your honor. Yeah. Is that, think, that is true? I, I think I heard that too. I'm not I don't sure. think that's true. I don't know if that's like that in the other Fret series, but I heard you that only for the funny? first one. That wasn't spicy for me. That one was. Well, Tyler. Imagine how hot that would be for you two. Well, Tyler, does, does this look like the face of mercy to you? <laughs> <laughs> and he's oh running, and he God. had that mild. Does this look like the face of mercy to you? <laughs> I love the Animal Crossing villager uh, memes going around right now on... Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, because of its dead stare? Well, it can't move it, it doesn't Sorry move about its... about that, folks, I, uh... Well, it's, it's, it's just like the games, it doesn't move Very its facial funny. expression unless oh. you've learned alternate uh, ex emo emotions, and it's really funny. How people, you for those of you who are wondering, uh, Tyler you, like spicy. Yeah, Tyler curry. uses a, Tyler uh, cooks every now and again, and eats usually during our during a recording of Bickering high. Gamers. And you remember those times? Yeah, like and he gave us he gave me and Billy some pa some of the pasta. It was good. He no, did. didn't tell either of us that it. That no, he put, I told Billy. No, he told me. No, I, yeah, I, I wasn't. Said, I, I like. Gonna be a bit spicy. No, I like yeah, spice. I didn't hear. I didn't hear that. I love spicy foods. Until after I took a bite and figured out he put a lot of curry powder in it. We'll just head outside. Go over your. If your you're neighbor, wondering why I was laughing, I bit place. into a little, whatever, a, like you a little thing. Yeah. Yeah, curry. Yeah, curry. Oh, yeah, yeah I bit into a red pepper flake. Oh, you're weak. Man. No, the curry, no, the curry powder. powder I, only put yeah, I can't. I, I can't put, stand spicy I, foods. I put the curry powder in the boiling water, which made the pasta taste like curry, not uh, exactly make it spicy. Right, right. It was the red okay. pepper flakes that made it spicy. So okay, yeah, the red pepper flakes. You know what? Clean down. Go outside. So you probably just go, go outside and shake whatever a tree for whatever native food you have <laughs> in your village, and just eat that. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that is something to get into. There's a lot of complicated systems in Animal Crossing Way to tell where you can get there. unique, where you can get money, you can get unique, um, you can get unique furniture or uh, wallpaper sets. Like making your house is a big part of the game. A lot of people are very into their house, which is why the Street Pass function in New Leaf exists, where uh, you get to put your house. In in a, in a show floor and people, different people villagers uh, villages. You go in Main Street. You go up a little more. Really, I'd say try this. And then, um, but I'm afraid what would happen to you. You go in this. <laughs> you go in this plaza <laughs> where uh, there's all these houses of people you street pass with, and you get to see their houses. No. Towns are also something to be very, very artistic with, and I've seen some really cool stuff. People made their towns like they them. Then people have a lot of people have a, some people have a lot of time on their hands because the things I've seen done in Animal Crossing is incredible. Yeah, speaking yeah. of mine, especially speaking with, with you, remember that question you asked me on the live Yeah, especially with um, especially with New Leaf, <laughs> where uh, you can share more of what you've done with screenshots and meverse and everything. And so he's like, I don't know where you get the time. For that. <laughs> yeah, I really. It was like a couple of days. A couple of days, it was the next day. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy, man. Yeah. Crazy. It took me like an hour. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If I put, if I actually put my, put any effort into what I build, I'd be done, I'd be done in a weekend. I'm sure. Honestly. No, I'm sure. And yeah, I make, I'm sure. <coughs> I put a lot of time into it. And keep in mind, that's not for like small build. That'd be for, Maybe. that'd be for giants. But yeah, Animal Crossing is not like that. Everything takes time. Unless you want to cheat with the, the in-game timer. It takes a lot of time. Yeah, there. but even then, you, ha you even could if suffer, you use the game timer, you could suffer yeah. drawbacks from doing that. Yeah, you can. Wait, what? Well, if you mess with the in-game timer, that can fuck up Excuse your me. village a little bit. Like, uh, it can increase your weed amount, which will make your town uglier and it'll make it less likely to get villagers or villagers. But everyone will be stoned off their ass. Yeah, everyone will be really. <laughs> Well, get yeah. it? We okay. Never mind. I got you. No, but everyone does get angry. <laughs> Every a lot of your villagers do get angry. In all seriousness, when uh, you you, because even though it's not yet until New Leaf, even though it's not your responsibility to make the town good, it's like what tournament? What the fuck you doing? Uh, the yeah, uh, it's your responsibility to get the town to be the best you can be. I, I guess because you're only human. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Oh, that's disgusting, man. Couldn't oh, you God. wait till the oh, end? You, you can't go to the kitchen. Oh, oh I had to watch. Oh, oh, I heard, <laughs> oh, oh, I heard it swish in the can. Oh, God. Okay, now let's continue. Oh. Let's, get, let's, let's continue. Oh, God. Nothing else. Oh, barf. Shall we? 
Oh lord. Well, the series, what I like also is it keeps What's adding the more of these background characters. Like there's Blathers. Blathers is one of my favorite characters in the series. Yeah. Because he's such he's such a nerd, and I always feel bad for the guy because he stands in the same spot and his I, whole life. Yeah. And I hate. The thing is, it, one is, of the achievements is, you complete is collect. Collecting everything. all the paintings, all, all the dinosaur fossils, all you, the fishes, and now. all the bugs. And I hated yeah. giving him bugs because of how he hates Yeah, them. I know. Because he's so annoying with that. Wait, wait, wait. Let me guess. Is that guy permanently went to a tree or a tree? No, no. He's <laughs> <in> <laughs> Blathers is an owl who runs the museum. He run yeah, he runs the... He stands the, in the same uh, spot his whole life. Now. He sleeps in the day, and oh, oh, oh he wakes up in the night. <laughs> he's an owl. He has a daughter that was introduced in City Folk. Sister. Oh, is that a sister? I think it's a sister. I, think it's a, I don't know. I thought it was his daughter, but she's cool. She runs the observatory. Now she runs. Now in New Leaf, she runs uh, the gift shop in the second floor. If you get that upgrade, that, that's one hell of a job change. Yeah. No, but <laughs> no. She also, in all fairness, though, she also does run the second floor in the new in New Leaf <coughs> in the museum. You mm -hmm. you can get an upgrade. You get a second floor, and you can buy your own museum uh, uh, room where you can make your own museum thing. I have a Super Mario Brothers set, and I made a uh, gems uh, stone uh, uh, room. I'm thinking about doing an astron. I, I haven't cool. I haven't played, but I was thinking when I was playing doing astronomy uh, uh, museum. I mean, it's kind of useless in my opinion because the only way people would see it if is if they come to your town. It'd be better if you can street pass these things, but maybe in the next game they'll do that. Yeah, like maybe like so yeah. you can you can street pass yeah. and while you're near the person you can go to their town. Yeah, and Animal Crossing has a lot of cool new. Uh, new Leaf did so many great things. Like they have this, they have new uh, a lot of new customers, a lot more customizable things for your uh, for your uh, villager. Like they have this new uh, Shampoodle place. Shampoodle I think has been in a previous thing, but it, uh, now you can change your yeah, eye color. Shampoodle was the. Yeah. Uh... Was I think city. she was in City Folk. Yeah. She was in City Folk when you go into the city. She changed your haircut. City. Though. Now yeah. she can also change your eyes and your uh, and she can make you uh, um, uh, your me. She can make a me mask for you. Which oh, nice. what? what mask? Well, a me mask. In City Folk, since that was a Wii title, you get you at one point you earned the ability to buy a me mask where you can have your me your me's head face on up. a villager. But uh, now it's makeup. Mm. Now it's considered makeup. It's okay. a mask. No, the thing is, it the is thing really is the cool. reason I cringe really, at that I, is I because I saw a video, video of some dude decided to decide to make a video. What if, of what if the villager ended up becoming some sort of psychopath? Oh god! Actually, and I, he has that same soulless face uh, he had in the pro yeah, in the Smash Bros. I promo. Actually, I did hear a really cool creepy pasta of Animal Crossing where the villager uh, tells his accounts of how he was trapped into this village and he doesn't really want to be there. Oh yeah. Yeah, like uh, like like Oh, like uh, Monster Manor. Yeah, like it ties into the idea that um it ties into how everyone jokes how Tom Nook is a crime lord. And it was actually really funny that the creator, I think it was one of the either one of the treehouse members or the creator of the game, actually had to defend uh, Tom Nook at one point. Even though we all know Tom Nook's the coolest guy around. He is the coolest dude ever. He's so cool, but it's like we just make jokes like, where's my money? You know, that kind of guy. He, there's a lot of jokes because he's the guy who builds your houses, upgrades your homes, and he sells you. He's a big capitalist in the Animal Crossing world. Yeah. He's also the most well known character. Isabel is also becoming up to the ranks with Tom Nook, and she was introduced in New Leaf. She's the mayor's assistant, and she's a really good character. Like, she's very three dimensional, she's very entertaining. And really? I thought I, did, I wouldn't know if it was a 3D game or not. No, Tyler. I mean, a three dimensional is in her character. You knew what I meant. Yeah. Well, you're a yeah, character. Yeah, her character. Character model, right? Uh, you're a oh, oh, here we go. But yeah, you know. Um, God, I, I, the, the footage I have to get for this video, I haven't recorded the footage yet. I'm actually probably going to just erase my memory card file first in the GameCube <laughs> and on my Wii first so I don't have to go through the crushing feeling of my, one of my villagers saying, oh, you want to erase everything, all of us from existence? Mm. Because I'm not starting from where I left off in that town. It looked horrible. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, true. Uh, I, was, I was thinking about doing an Animal Crossing diary. A lot of people on YouTube do that, where they'll do every, where they'll make a video of every day. It's like a vlog a series, except they do it from Animal Crossing. Wow. That, that's yeah. actually pretty cool. Yeah, it's fun. I, I forgot who was watching doing that. Um, <laughs> there's a few people that do it. And I only watched one uh, series for a few days, but yeah, it's basically a vlog series where they do it for a year or something. Oh, you, well, at least he put his head on the table. Yeah, well, let's just ignore that.
Yeah. I'm not making... I would end it here, but I'm not making that the final note. Okay, before we end it, there has got to be something we have not... We have been ignoring this whole video. What? Mr. Rossetti. Oh, God, you're right. We, oh, I there was that. there was no way I was going to let you finish yeah, this you're right, you're right. video without talk, mentioning you're that. You're right. Man. We have to talk about Rossetti. How annoying is, is Mr. Mr. Rossetti? He's a dick. You know, he has... And I hate his partner, too. His sidekick dude. They made, from, I think it's his brother, too. It's his brother, yeah. He was from New... What was his he, name? He was introduced... I always forget, but he was introduced in City Folk, and Rossetti gave him a job in the Reset Center. Basically, what you do is... Oh, come on. And I have to give Nintendo. Now he's doing this on purpose. I have to give the Nintendo credit. This was a very clever idea because one way you can cheat. Yeah. The, 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 the one way. The most famous the way to cheat, cheat in a simulation is game is to reset the console. But if you reset the console that's saving, that's when you meet Mr. Rossetti. He'll come out of the ground in front of your house and literally yeah. lecture he's you. A mole. He's a mole with the hard hat, yeah. the whole nine yards. The one from Earthbound. The whole nine yards digging gear. He's from Earth. I'm telling you that's if you ever, from Earthbound. I'm telling if you, you that's ever, uh, if you ever uh, turn off your game without reset, without saving, mm. the next time you come on, It'll trigger an event where Mr. Rossetti comes up and then lectures you about reset. And we're not talking about a few the game. sentences. It is literally. It's not like a few sentences. It's like, it's like, it's like don't, five minutes. Like stop do stop cheating. Yeah. Play It'll the game right. Like five minutes. Play the game right. You got it. Yeah. This is a warning. No, it'll go on for five minutes. He'll just yeah. rant on, oh, okay. on about it. It is. Oh, yes, you hold the button. He softened up a lot though in New Leaf. <laughs> Even then, that takes a good three minutes. No, he, he softened up a lot though in New Leaf. No, the thing in is, Leaf, if though, you do it multiple times, in the in the old games at least, if you keep doing it multiple times, the conversations will get longer. Yeah, they get longer. And they're different ones each time. And when I learned, they, when I, I oh. do you know what that means? What? That means that yeah. someone had to sit down during this. During the game's development, and, and think down. and write down oh, each right. and every single thing. This can go up to seventy-seven times. Yeah. After seven, I. Seventy-seven. Seventy, seventy-seven, somewhere around that, somewhere yeah. around that time. If you do it enough times, Rossetti will go screw it, screw it. He will, then your game will immediately go off, and you will not be able to play the game for a whole month. In real life time, yeah, what? and and in the European yep. version and of then, City Folk, it will they will erase your save data. Yeah, but that's not all. That's not all. When you go back on after oh, yeah. that month, oh, you're fucked. Every, all your neighbors hate you. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. It was out. fifty times. If you do it, yeah, 50 I think it's fifty. If you do it fifty times, he will he will reset the the game will reset itself, and you will not be able to play it for a month. Then when the month's over, oh, all the they hate all the you, players yeah. will hate all the other NPCs will hate you for having for just having to mess with Rossetti. Change it, Dick. No, but in, in New Leaf he softened up a lot actually. In New Leaf he didn't get a job. He lost his job, and it was up to you, the mayor, to. to <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! They actually answered the. Yeah, they, they answered did. a lot of players' prayers there. Yeah, but the thing is, you, the mayor, get to decide whether he gets his job back or not because you fund his um, his uh, coming back. And if, <laughs> and if you do uh, choose to bring him back, he's a lot softer now. He'll give you a, uh, a shorter speech, but also you can give an excuse to why you were set, like your battery died. Uh, you asked the, the yeah because that was a lot of out. that was a lot of reasons because I wild world, usually when I played that was from Wild World complaints because a lot of times in Wild World they didn't mean to reset. It, Usually when I played the original game, the original game it was oh because my God, I accidentally it was because I accidentally hit the reset button before I saved uh, before I saved or yeah. I just wanted to see what the I hell was. I remember one time I went to the island through the e-reader. Uh, yes, I was one of those people who had an e-reader and I couldn't get off the island. There was an error and I had to reset. I'm like, oh God, no. Because I, I was actually afraid oh, to do man. it because I didn't want to hear it You didn't want to hear reset. <laughs> I also downloaded this cool Donkey Kong uh, pattern. Honestly, honestly, he became like one of the one of those characters that you love to hate. Honestly, so oh, and so his popularity. He's like a good villain. Yeah, he, he's, yeah. he's, he's he a cool dude. You know, it's like you want to have a beer with him. And it got to the point oh, so like where he became yeah. so popular that he became a trophy in Brawl. Yeah, he's, yeah. I think he was what? a What? He became a trophy in Brawl. If you got the Rossetti, the Mr. Rossetti trophy, yeah. Rossetti will appear on the screen and he will start going on a rant. And his speech bubble, cov 
and his feet bubble covered the yeah. screen. Especially that one. I that that one. So many times. <laughs> yes. I think Rossetti also. I actually think I actually think Rossetti also mentions that uh, mentions that in Animal Crossing, if you have the same. Um, if you have the same uh, save data on both on your Wii for both City Folk and Brawl, I'm not sure on that though. In Melee, actually, that's something to, go, to talk about. In Melee, uh, KK Slider's uh, trophy was there before the game came out in Japan. There was a teaser on that where uh, we didn't know where he was from. The game was from, so it just said future release, Animal yeah, Crossing future yeah, release. Brawl does that a lot. Well, I knew. I mean, I knew about Roy coming out before. Yeah. Smash coming Brothers out before is Nintendo's it was marketing division. It is not only a game; it is their marketing. That's why they suck yeah. at marketing. Because they honestly, they have Smash a lot of creative Brothers. marketing decisions. They like do. They do. How they marketed a Super Mario Brothers three. Yeah, that was make great. a movie. That's basically yeah. one big commercial. Well, that, let's face it: the Wizard is of the Super Mario Brothers commercial, the, the the world's longest Super Mario Brothers three commercial, and, along with the Power Glove. Right, right, along with the Power Glove. Did it's that already so come great. out? Yeah, yeah, it was out. Yeah, so yeah. it was just so expensive that no one bought it. So, uh, so they tried to get him to buy, but it sucks anyway. I know. I I have I had the power glove and I tried it out. It does not work. It really doesn't work. That AB, that AVGN video. Yeah, not, I, I was about not to say that's not an exaggeration. It really doesn't work. It really doesn't. Work. I really love how he was able to land the plane <laughs> with, the, with it, the the one thing he always had trouble with. I can't wait to see uh, the AVGN movie because there's a scene in the trailer where he. He's in a plane. He's like, dude, can you land this thing? You ever see me play Top Gun? Good. This isn't going to be pretty. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best joke in oh, the whole trailer. Uh, he's in a fucking airplane. Oh, he has his like, really hot uh, sidekick. I guess. Of course he does. Yeah. <laughs> But with that, we're at. Now that's a good note to. Uh, yeah, that's uh, a good uh, note we'll, to end we'll, it. We end it here. See you guys. Peace. Everyone say bye. Tyler, say bye. Goodbye, Neuromaniacs. Thank you, guys. There we go. Hey, guys. There we go. Mm-hmm. <laughs>